Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Multiverse Studio. My name is Baba and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this wonderful water effect without using any plugging in Cinema 4D. We are going to use only the native tools that is available in every set of Cinema 4D. So let's jump in. So first of all, let me just uncheck this and let me create a new one. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use a cube and the reason that I'm using cube is cube has segments where plane doesn't. We need to decrease the length of the cube or you can use these values. Use 4 cm for the y axis and that's it. Let me just bring it closer. So we have created a cube. Now go inside the cube and in the segments X, Y and Z use 25 value in all of the three segments. You can use fillet, give the value radius to 3 so that the border will be curved like this. Okay, now comes the fun part. We need a deformer. For that go to this part and bring displacer. Bring the displacer and make a child of the cube. Select the cube and press C on your keyboard so that the cube becomes editable. Click the displacer. There are coordinates, object, shading, fall off and refresh. Now what you need to do is go inside the shading and in the channel it should be custom shader. In the shader click this drop down list and select noise. As you can see some polygons going on over here. If you play this nothing will happen because it's not animated but it's the base form of our water. So come over the object and if you increase the height like maybe 30 centimeter you can see these heights become very much visible and pointy. We don't need that. I'm just showing you and let me just make it 15. Now go to the shading and click on the noise on this picture type thing. Okay. It has the shader settings. Okay. Noise is a shader and these are its settings. In the animation speed, it's by default 0, change to 1 and in the movement, use these values to get good results. 25, 10, 20. And now if I click the play button, you can see this is going on. It's doing something. Now in a click on the displacer, come over the object. Either you can reduce its height. I'm going to reduce its height to by default 10 centimeters. Looks something like this. Okay. So you can see the edges are very sharp. It doesn't look like water. To fix that, first of all, we need to collapse this menu. Write the name. So wait here, water two. So now we need to click here and bring a subdivision surface. Now what you need to do is in the subdivision surface, click this total thing, water two and whatever you have and drag and place it under it like this so that the water to object will become a child of subdivision surface bam it becomes so much smooth now pay attention if you have a powerful system if you have a rtx or a gtx gpu if you have a good gpu you can you can give higher values like three and the subdivision render also three and it will look much more smoother but also it will slow you down so only if you have a gpu good gpu you can do try that and if you do not have GPU, uh, if you are working on a APU based system, don't do it. Don't just let it be the, the default settings. So I'm not going to continue because I don't have dedicated GPU. Although I'm working on a desktop. Yes, I don't have a GPU. <laughs> okay, so this is the way it looks. Okay, material section. I have two materials, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to create them for you so that you can understand how to create this kind of materials. Click on the create, go to the material and select new standard material. Now double click on the material, come in the color section, click here and give a lighter shade of blue or like this. Yeah. On this part, right click and copy. Go to the reflectance here, click on the add and select the option GGX. Don't change anything over here. Just come over in the layer color, right click and paste and it becomes like this. Drag and drop. Wow, look at this. Now, if you change the height, you can either decrease it like six centimeters. It will become like this subtle movement. And if you change it to like 12 or 13, maybe and it will look something like this. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to decrease it to nine. You can also decrease the strength. You can also animate it like it's like minus 37. It's moving it's very slow. You can change these settings according to your own taste. Now give light to this scene. I'm going to use area light. You can choose anything you want. I need to rotate this after some adjustments. 
bring it like here so that it looks like there is a moon and the moonlight is falling on the water looks pretty cool but now we need another light so that it doesn't becomes that black okay and for that i'm gonna just place the light above everything and i'm going to decrease the intensity of that light like this okay so it becomes something like this which looks pretty cool I know it's not a proper way to make water but still you can make water without any plugging. So I hope you learned something new from this video. If you do please drop a like and if you are new to my channel please subscribe me by clicking this button. Also click the notification bell so that you will never miss VFX videos as well as tutorials from my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Signing off.